Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a, an attempt to kind of recreate the Apollo lander. Doesn't matter which one, we're just kind of going to build a generalized Apollo lander. I remember, I remember as a kid liking this kind of stuff, even though it was so wasteful, leaving all those parts on the moon. Okay, we're going to toggle those flags off. I'm Right now I am staring at pictures of uh, Apollo landers, so I'm going, to I'm going to try to recreate this as best as I can. The bestest that I can. Now there's going to be a problem I'm going to have to try to overcome. It's this. This weird skirt that uh, KSP has decided in their infinite wisdom to put on this part. This skirt does not exist on the actual lander and frankly it's kind of ugly so we're gonna have to find a way around it apparently this skirt only pops up when you attach something to the bottom oh wait i can see another ball in there hold on hold the phone i can see another attachment part in there mm-hmm uh-huh ah really okay mm -mm. nope we don't want that one there we go Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can, now we have something to work with here. All right, let's do this. try to get these as close as I possibly can without summoning the Kraken because we don't have a whole lot of room to put fuel in this thing and we're gonna need some we're gonna need some Delta V to land you know what while we're at it we might as well put a door down there because I know there was space in between here that they stored stuff in like the Lunar Rover and everything so we're gonna try to give that a go and when I'm looking at these pictures here the lander itself was actually a little larger than this so we'll see about extending it down just a little bit maybe about half if we're gonna put a door in here then we're gonna have to do this manually without symmetry wait a minute maybe I can do this uh, another another way hmm well that sucks so if I could get something like that yeah, damn near perfect. Hmm. Hmm. That's not half bad. I like that. Okay, okay. Now, I'm looking at some of the pictures and I see that it looks like four corners are gold, while four other corners are covered in a type of a black tarp. So I'll just have to remember that. So I'm looking at pictures of the uh, one of the Apollo landers. I think it's Apollo 14. There seems to be a type of uh, protrusion or like a backpack or cargo pack on one of the sides on this side of the spacecraft. It's uh, kind of popping out. Not sure what was in there. Probably a bunch of experiments and whatnot. So I think I think I think that's what we're where we're going to put our experimentation uh, little cargo thing. Just right there. That'll work. Oh, that looks pretty nice already. Hmm. Now in KSP, this, this, uh, from looking at it, it does look a little, a little skinny. And, uh, the real one was a little bit more wide. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and we'll work with it. We'll make it work. So the reason why I picked this RCS engine is because in the picture it looks very, very close, very similar to um, the actual lander. Really similar to the actual uh, engine bell on the bottom on the bottom of the actual lander. So hopefully this works. If it doesn't, then we'll switch it out with another engine. But hopefully this works. And of course, this thing is kind of heavy, the cargo storage unit. So I put some more fuel on the other side to balance it out. We're gonna give it a quick test. Quick test. Wonder why I ate this one up faster. What about the one under it? Yeah, I ate both of those up. Hmm, 
Interesting. Probably, probably because maybe I attached them, attached them directly to the engine is my guess. I don't think we're gonna have. I do not see us having a whole lot of Delta V here. <laughs> yeah, we're about to run out of fuel. Well, that's a damn shame because this thing looks so nice. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, I don't have any um, engine mods, but it plumes out really nice too, which kind of sucks. Damn. I could try one more thing. Okay, I don't really see this working, but you never know until you test it. Ah, uh, so close. Let's see if the ejection system works. Well, <laughs> the second stage actually. In three, two, one. Just before we crash, and oh damn! All right, back to the drawing board. Ah, that sucks so bad. That'd have been perfect. That would have been perfect. <laughs> Why? All right. So the reason why I'm using these Oscar B fuel tanks is because they have the most fuel in them for the uh, least amount of space they, that they take up. I mean, look at this one. Right. It's a little big, but it actually holds half, almost half of what the Oscar B does. So, yeah. Look at this one. It's huge, right? It does hold a lot more than the Oscar B, but it, it actually, compared to the size, I could put four Oscar Bs, right, in its place and get uh, oh, almost twice the amount of fuel. So we're going to go with these little guys. Happy little Oscar Bs. They're happy little fuel tanks. I'm going to try to make it so I'm not doing a whole lot of part clipping. So I'm thinking of a kind of a donut design. Let's see if that works. Okay, it's saying it's connected. That's, uh, that, oh, um, hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, but, you know, damn. It's a really very strange connection point. Oh, I mean, that's not too bad. It looks interesting. Oh, no. Yeah, I forgot about offsetting that. That is going to need to be done before we do anything. Luckily, though, I don't think it's going to be a major offset. Just a little one. Teeny tiny one. <laughs> hmm. Wow, that's really going to be a problem, isn't it? Well, it didn't look like we used up a whole lot of fuel. Like, half of our fuel. So I'm wondering if I can put something on the other side. This will help us a lot with uh, building that uh, donut fuel. What the? Oh, that's where it's attached to. Okay. All right, let's do this. Since we seem to be going all out symmetry here doesn't have to be offset anymore. Let's fix that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Suddenly it's attaching to it. Um. Hmm. Looks like it's uh, even more than enough liquid fuel. Okay. Interesting. All right. We got all the internal workings so far. Okay. Now for the legs. This ought to be good. Yeah, we're not going to be able to use regular landing gear. We're going to have to kind of build our own because the landing gears on the actual Luna lander um, is very, very different from what the game gives us. So we're going to try to make kind of make our own using some landing gears from our selected parts here. We'll just kind of try to make our own because, yeah, you could slap it on there, be done deal. But then it wouldn't wouldn't really look anything like the actual lander. It's already been two hours and a half. Uh, I know there's plenty more to do on this thing. Let's see. Hmm. I'm stuck on these deflectors. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, I call them deflectors. They're probably called something else. I will be absolutely shocked if it loads up correctly. Uh -huh. Hmm. That's a problem. Okay, apparently there was two, look like, um, communication dishes. One over the door, 
and one directly on the right side of it. So we're going to try to mimic those the best we can. And I think we're going to build our own little tiny little dish. You know what, I could do something way better. Hold on. Ever Augustine, welcome. Hope you're happy, check that out. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, okay. I mm, can't think of anything else except to put some decals on it. You know what, I think I can do better. One second, okay. Let's try this. <laughs> ah, look at that. That's so much nicer. Uh-oh. Did my game just crash? Mm. Yeah, I think my game just crashed. Well, that's, that's just fate telling me that I need to wrap it up. Sorry, everyone. I wanted to finish this in this video, but it looks like we're going to have to do a part two. So look forward to that. It's looking good, though. It's looking real good. I'm All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Clicking the bottom on the... What? Clicking the button on the bottom left may or may not give you good luck. I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, I'd do it.